All right, let's welcome our first guest, Nichil Maheshwari of Edelweiss Financial Services now joins in for some market talk from the sidelines of their infrastructure conference. Uh, Nichil, hi, morning. Uh, good to have you on the show. Uh, you, you know, you join us for your conference on a day when stocks like uh, Reliance and some of the other, uh, you know, capital goods infrastructure stocks are doing well. So let me ask you that itself. Uh, uh, do you think some of these stocks have run ahead of themselves, uh, uh, ahead of uh, uh, the potential election outcome, or do you sti still see value in some of these names? Uh, uh, Nikunja, the, I think the interesting part is uh, that uh, there is a lot of hope basically as we are meeting more and more companies. I think uh, 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 the outlook seems to be getting positive. Uh, now, what I see here is basically in case of 15 and 16, if the same uh, things continue basically, then uh, the number upgrades would be very, very significant for these companies. So really, we really do not know whether these stocks have really uh, run ahead of their uh, 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 potential. Because if you look at from the uh, uh, last five year uh, highs basically of these stocks, they are one fourth, one third uh, or one tenth of their uh, high prices. So there is a huge potential if the economy goes back onto their normal track. Hmm. Okay. Nishchal, hi. Before we get talking more about the conference, I just wanted your opinion on Wipro, which is down 5%. Uh, Sonia, I have not been tracking because I am here in the morning from for the conference, so I really am not tracking what's really happened on the Wipro side. But uh, what I understand was uh, uh, there was a bit of disappointment as far as the numbers on Wipro was concerned on the uh, last uh, Thursday results. Okay. What is your view on the entire pharma space? We've got multiple stocks which are running for news-based reasons. How interested are you within pharmaceutical within the pharma pharmaceutical space? So pharma, we have a neutral stance on the pharma space, given that uh, one, uh, if a, a positive outlook on the coming election comes through and India forms a government, basically, I believe that the rupee should be appreciating from here. And that wouldn't be very, very positive for the pharma space. Secondly, I think the valuations are uh, also a bit of challenge. So we have uh, brought down an overweight position to a neutral position now. Uh, but within that, I think uh, there are a lot of stocks which we like. The recent uh, Sun Pharma Renbaxi deal has been uh, quite an outlier, actually. And that is a stock basically on a one to two year horizon we have been recommending to our clients. Similarly, Dr. Reddy, IPCA. The, uh, these are some of the stocks basically mm -hmm. which we like in this space. Okay, uh, Nishal, what about uh, Reliance? Uh, how's the, how are you positioned on that stock? Uh, because the numbers look quite okay. I mean, uh, operationally look good, but the stock has been quite muted. Uh, uh, of course, it's rallied quite a bit uh, uh, ahead of the numbers. I think numbers have been quite good basically for Reliance, uh, especially on all fronts, uh, whether it was the margins on the GRMs or on the uh, 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 or in the petrochemical space. Uh, so I think uh, plus also uh, 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 the uh, revenues from its U.S. subsidiaries basically, I think that has also been very, very good. So I think uh, overall the numbers look pretty good for Alliance. Uh, as you say, I think the stock had run ahead of in expectation basically and uh, I think some amount of profit taking must be happening. Uh, but we have a long term buy on the stock and we have been positive from 725 rupees on Reliance and uh, we believe that the next two to three years is going to be very exciting for Reliance. Hmm. Okay, let's focus on your conference now, Nistral. It is the Infra Day conference which is taking place at the Palladium, Palladium Hotel. Uh, can you just give us a sense um, in terms of what the speakers are talking about? What are the key points with regards to the conference which most of the investors are interested in? And are they interested in actually investing a large sum of money within the infra space or infra stocks at this point in time? Uh, it's been quite interesting, uh, Sonia, that uh, the kind of interest we've seen on the infrastructure day. Uh, we were also um, uh, oh, thinking that uh, it's more of a hope rally which is happening, but uh, the kind of response both from the company side as well as the investor side has been quite amazing. So we have got around 17 to 18 corporates who have come here. We have got around 6-7 uh, infrastructure uh, uh, specialist uh, industry experts who are here. And uh, we've got more than 150 clients here actually. 
and in the next uh, in in the one day basically we are doing almost close to 1000 meetings uh, between various uh, 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 constituents of the conference and the interesting two or three things which people are saying is that uh, the industry experts believe that uh, there is definitely a very uh, strong uh, hope which is coming back especially on the uh, asset sale side there are a lot of funds especially the uh, long only pension funds across the world whether it's the Canadian pension fund or the Norwegian pension fund basically which have been looking into these assets very strongly and uh, they continue to believe that more asset sale will uh, definitely happen because Indian assets are pretty cheap hmm. as compared across the world. So I think that is one thing basically which is giving hope to the whole industry that uh, uh, they will get more money coming through in, in this uh, sector. Uh, most of the companies seem to be on an optimistic mode basically they are seeing uh, good order books coming through. Uh, the problem still continues to remain is basically that the working capital cycles are still long and the uh, money release is not as strong. So I believe uh, they are hopeful that once the election pass through, uh, the government expenditure will once again start off and uh, this uh, easing of the working capital cycle will happen. Uh, that will one help the uh, money movement uh, happening in the sector and secondly improve the margins also for these corporates. Okay, uh, let's talk about a couple of other sectors and stocks, the initial. Uh, what's your call on stocks like Maruti? Again, a new lifetime high for that one. Uh, just ignoring all the, you know, uh, bad news uh, or perceived bad news. Uh, uh, how would you be positioned on Maruti and even Tata Motors? I think both these sectors looks to be, uh, both these stocks uh, um, uh, are, are on a positive outlook. Uh, uh, both in terms of uh, Maruti as well as the uh, uh, Tata Motor. Maruti after uh, some uh, recent uh, 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 problems uh, from the side of the management basically I think it got sorted out under the pressure from shareholders and I think uh, uh, that's why the stock has been uh, performing very well. Uh, uh, going ahead uh, we continue to believe that uh, both Tata Motor and uh, Maruti are uh, strong infrastructure play and uh, uh, recovery in the economy, interest rate cuts, I think these are all things basically which is going to happen over a period of time but I think these are the two stocks which will gain uh, substantially uh, from these measures. So I think we are positive on both of them and we have a buy on both these stocks. Hmm. Okay Nistral, before we let you go, just one last question with regards to the conference. Um, are most of the investors or companies then talking about a formidable turnaround come F515? Uh, they are hopeful, uh, but uh, people are keeping their fingers crossed basically. They are hoping that the second half is where they are going to see uh, a good amount of turnaround. Uh, there is a possibility of number uh, upgrades in F515 itself. Okay. And much more asset monetization. That's right. Okay. All right, Nischal. Thanks very much for joining in. So that's Nischal Maheshwari of Edelweiss talking about their conference, which takes place, which is an infra day, which is taking place at this point in time. For